Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is the upgrades and modifications video uh, for the Terminator uh, part work. Uh, most of this has already been done. Uh, there's a couple of little bits to do on this uh, arm. Uh, there's the uh, shading and weathering on that bit. All of this was already done, and I'll just put that back together to make it look nice. But I shall just pop that back out because I don't need this, this one's already done. I can move that to one side. Uh, this bit, again, needs shading, weathering, and that. Uh, for that, as with the rest of it, I'm gonna be using Citadel's Null Noil. Uh, it's a great, easy way of doing it. It just makes it look nicer and slightly older and weathered without any real effort. And doing things without effort is obviously ideal. Um, now, you'll need, say, null oil, a bit of uh, tissue or kitchen roll just to help get rid of the excess. Give the bottle a good shake, and then basically, get even more on your brush than that. Uh, and you wanna fill in the gaps. Um, doesn't matter if you go over the gaps or don't get all of the gaps, because it's just general sort of aging and wear that you're aiming for on this, uh, pretty much into the the grooves and wiping off some excess uh, probably a little bit too much wiped off there so what I'm going to do is do it again leave it a little bit longer this time some of it was fine but some of it was not so good uh, I'll leave it a little bit longer so it dries in the grooves and I can still wipe off the excess uh, doing the same basically with all of it you can see already that that just highlights the the depth of the grooves and just makes it a little bit more uh, noticeable makes it look like there is actually you know some definition there so I'm just going around I say not being at all neat because I say you can wipe off the excess anyway and anywhere that you don't it just adds to the level of sort of dirt and weathering in there anyway so I'm getting all of the, the edges basically uh, when I've done this side, I'll be able to hold this and do the other side. Not too much on there, but there we go. Just really slapping it on. So, into the... All of the bits, all of the edges. And it will just gather in the, the recesses and make it look better. So I'll do that bit, then when that's dried, I can hold that bit and do the other side. Actually, I'll put that on the tissue, because then if anything does leak over, it won't be going everywhere. Uh, so I'll get another bit of tissue to clean up what we've done on this one. There we go. So it leaves it nice and sort of uh, a bit patchy, where it's a bit, a little bit more wiping on some of the excess bits on the edge. Otherwise, it gives a different finish. But that is basically that. That's that's what we're aiming for. Uh, I'll do that on all of it, and then come back and uh, show you the next bit. That's both of those done. So they're nice and a bit bit grotty, a bit grimy, looking fine though. Uh, so I can go back aside for waiting until next time when we get more things to do and we can start on the main event for today uh, the gun uh, this is the half scale I think it's a plasma rifle um, which I say needs needs a bit of attention it's it's lovely it's fine as it is but it's not quite right uh, the most obvious problem is on the silencer site barrel um, there are some fairly noticeable seam lines on there so that needs a little bit of tidying and then re repainting, refinishing. Um, now I've got a couple of references of this that I found online and they they do show different bits being highlighted and darker and uh, so I'm gonna basically pick one and go with it. So some of it needs to be chromed and some of it needs to be in the black. I'm gonna leave the black as it is. Uh, now what I'm gonna use to chrome it uh, is some uh, C1 metalizer powder. Well, I'm going to try it and see what happens. It's the easiest and quickest way of doing it because it doesn't need any extra painting or anything else. So basically, I'm just going to apply this 
where it needs to be buff it up polish it up and we'll see how it looks i have used this before over a, a matte a, a shiny black um base coat and it comes out quite well so this being like the metallic gray gunmetal we'll see how it looks i'll get this ready now this is as i say it's a powder it's a very very fine powder um so it's very easy to blow everywhere and go everywhere so they actually provide you with a a mask to wear while you're playing around with it but i do need to get some paper down so it doesn't go everywhere all over my bench so i'll get myself set up and ready to go and we'll see how it looks so this is the picture that i've decided to go with for the uh, shiny silvery bits uh, the silence a bit is knackered and scratched up which is going to help with the seam line and general weathering of that uh, so i need to do say silvery bits on the little barrel uh, leaving these bits black uh, the main all of it uh, leaving the top bit back bit and the the clip in black as well so i'll be picking out some bits here and there to just make it look interesting and slightly better than it does at the moment so that's the the plan uh, the silencery bit i'm going to start with just uh so just using a, a sanding stick because this will tell me if i need to do anything more major with it once i've got rid of the seam line because it will tell me if there's if this is just a painted color or if it's you know, the color of the plastic that they've used and we can find out just how far down that rabbit hole i need to go uh, right so that's got rid of the seam line on a bit of that and it has got rid of the metallic effect so i'm going to need to do a little bit of work on this i might see about spraying it and recoloring it uh, I might try some C1 on it anyway, just a little bit, and sort of buff it up a little bit, and see if that makes a difference. Now this, as you say, being a, a round bit, you don't want to just polish it. I'm just gently rotating it as well while I'm sanding, just to basically not give myself a flat edge. So there you can see, there's a couple of bits still there, but most of it's going away. So, a little bit of time doing that. Um, not going to bore you by doing all of that on camera. But uh, once I've got rid of the seam line and the one the other side, we'll see what I need to do to make it look better. So, here we go. This is the C1, obviously now open and uh, good to go. Basically going to get some of it on the little applicator. Uh, so I'm going to do this, this whole section here. So let's start here. Basically, I'm just putting it on quite thick. Now I know I won't be able to get into the, the grooves and everything, but that's actually good because that's where dust and dirt would accumulate and it wouldn't be as, as shiny and polished. So what I'm doing is just put, putting the, uh, the powder on I'm sure the, the white balance is going to be going mental because I've got a white uh, sheet down and obviously black gloves here so apologies for any blowout of any televisions or anything that you're using um, so you can already see that there's a, a difference in texture between what I've done and what I haven't done and that's purely the powder going down onto there So that's enough for a test. I'm not going to do the grooves in there either. But I will get that top piece. I'm trying to get around the edges a little bit as well. Let's just go over the high bits again. Obviously this needs to be done on the other side and all around and the top bits of this and lots of other places but I'm not going to be filming everything but it's all basically the same as what I'm doing at the moment so that's that bit done let me put the lid back on that so that doesn't go everywhere uh, and then using a little pad uh, actually before I do that let's just knock off the excess powder uh, and then using the pad we can just polish and hopefully 
give a noticeable different effect to the rest of it. Use a different bit of pad that's not worn out. So let's step back and see how that looks. Uh, so yes, um, it's not as pronounced as I was hoping it was going to be, but it is quite pronounced. By the time I get some wash and dirt in there, you can see actually there the bit that I haven't done, and obviously the bit that I have done. It's all about giving a different texture, a different effect. So I'm fairly happy with how that's come out. I'm going to go and do the rest of it, and we'll see how it looks when it's done. Well, there you have it. It's it's subtle, but it's definitely there. There's definitely more of a shine to the bits that I've polished up as opposed to the bits that I haven't. But they're still not quite dark enough. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the, the old favourite. I'm going to use some Null Oil. Um, get into the recesses and and the grooves and that in there i'm also going to be using some of this uh oil brush and starship filth uh which is uh, sort of uh non-oil plus uh i'll give you an idea of what this is going to look like um i this i'm just going to put into some of the even deeper recesses it's a, a grimy grotty color so i can put it into let's say some of the worst places and then make sure it doesn't go anywhere else and get rid of some of it while still making it look nice on the outside uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do both of those to various bits here and there uh, and then we'll do a little bit of uh, dry brushing and weathering so that's it assembled uh, almost good to go uh, i've done the barrel i've given it just a quick brush coat of uh, lead belcher from citadel again because uh, they're nice to brush and it's the right sort of uh, gunmetal color it's getting a slightly different texture different finish but that's okay that's what i'm going for uh, the null oil i've gone very heavy in a few places and i need to give it another coat but it gives the right dirty level so I'm happy with how it's coming along. Uh, the last bit before I say final bits of touch up uh, is some dry brushing. I'm using again some Citadel paint, Stormhost Silver. Uh, now this is just a, a basic silver colour. So what I'm doing with that is uh, dry brushing. Basically it means getting uh, some paint on the brush and getting rid of most of it. So you're left with just a little touch, just a taste, uh, and that you can put onto the edges, and it gives you a, an effect like it's been scuffed and worn. So just randomly around edges where where things would naturally catch and scuff and wear, and not necessarily just the edges, but mainly the edges. You can get some into the the body of the the piece itself but you can see especially down here so that looks a bit boring by dry brushing you can just pick out the edges even so very lightly across the surface itself and it just shows I say that it's been used and scuffed and worn uh, if you need to go a little bit heavier you can just I say keep, keep going basically but I'm just doing that all over, pretty much, um, and picking out, I say, where it would get knocked and scuffed, and that's just going to add an extra level of realism. Uh, so I'll get that done. I'll touch up the uh, non oil a little bit more, and we'll see how it looks when it's done. And there you have it. Uh, that's as done as it's going to get. Uh, there's definitely some variation between the old bits, the new bits, the shiny bits, the dull bits, the darker bits, the lighter bits. Uh, it's all it's like used and worn and won't look out of place in his hand, I don't think. There may be some more uh, modifications and upgrades to it uh, as time goes by when he actually gets to put it in his hand and we see what it looks like. It might need a bit more, let's say, localised attention. But all in all, I'm quite happy with how it's come out. It's 
let's say it's got the definite shine to the, the shiny bits and yeah I'm happy with how that looks uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching the build and seeing how I'm improving and making things just that little bit better than they were before so thanks for watching uh, stick around for the next part of the the Terminator build and indeed the other builds that I'm doing at the moment as well so uh, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye